Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build your own mortgage payment calculator using Google Sheets. This is for anyone who wants to easily compare how much different mortgages will end up costing each month when repaid over different time periods and at different mortgage interest rates. Once this is all set up, the calculator is fully automated, so you can easily play around with different mortgage sizes, interest rates and repayment periods to see what kind of results are produced. First, you're going to want to make six tables headings across the top of your sheet like I have here. Month, beginning balance, interest, principal, monthly payment and ending balance. Next, on a separate section of the sheet, you'll want to have four more headings. Mortgage amount, years, interest rate and monthly payment. This is where you'll enter the conditions of the mortgage to populate the table. Mortgage amount is how much we're borrowing from the bank. Years is the amount of time over which we plan on repaying the mortgage and interest rate is the interest rate charged by the bank for borrowing the money. Express as a percentage. So for the purposes of this video, we'll assume that we're borrowing 400,000 euro from the bank, which we'll be paying off over 30 years at an interest rate of 3%. In order to work out the monthly payment, you'll need to use the following formula. In the cell beside your heading monthly payment, type equals PMT and select the first option that Google Sheets recommends. This will automatically open a bracket and ask you for the first parameter in the formula, which is the interest rate. Select the cell which has your assumed interest rate in this case 3% and when you've done that type forward slash 12. The reason why we do this is because we want to express our interest rate as a monthly interest rate and given that there are 12 months in a year we divide the interest rate by 12. Forward slash is the symbol we use for division on Google Sheets. Once you've done this type a comma and this will bring you onto the next parameter in the formula which is the number of periods. Select the cell which has the assumed amount of years over which you'll repay the mortgage. In this example we've chosen to repay the mortgage over 30 years. When you've done that, type star 12 as shown on screen. Star is the symbol we use for multiplying on Google Sheets. Again, the reason why we want to do this is because we want to express the number of periods as months and not years. Given that there are 12 months in a year, we multiply the number of years by 12 to get the number of months. Once you've done that, type another comma and you'll be brought to the final parameter, which is the present value. For this parameter, you want to type a minus symbol followed by the cell which has your assumed mortgage amount, in this case 400,000 euro. We do this because this is borrowed money which we're repaying. So we're starting from a negative balance and working towards a balance of zero by making repayments over time. Finally, once that's done, type another comma, followed by the number zero, close the bracket and hit enter. If done correctly, you should see a positive number pop up. The best way to check if you've set this up correctly is to copy the assumed mortgage parameters which I have on screen and see if your monthly payment figure comes out to 1,686 euro and 42 cents. The monthly payment will be the same amount each and every month for 30 years. However, how much of the payment each month is attributable to interest and principal will differ. In the earlier years of the mortgage, the majority of our monthly payment will be going towards interest. But as time goes on, more and more of the monthly payment will go towards principal. We'll be able to see this clearly once we finish the mortgage table. So now it's time to move on to the table. In the month column, you want to make sure that the amount of months you have listed corresponds to the amount of months over which your mortgage will be repaid. So for example, here I have 360 months, which is 30 years, from January 2023 to December 2052. In order to format the dates like I have here, where it's the shorthand of the month followed by a dash and the year, you want to click into more formats, then custom date and time, and copy the format on screen. Now whenever you type a date into this cell, like the 1st of the 1st 2023, Google Sheets will automatically format the date like I have it here. Once you've typed out two months consecutively, for example, January 2023 and February 2023, you can then auto populate the rest by highlighting the two which you've typed out and dragging the little blue box down until you have enough months auto populated to cover the total number of months over which your mortgage will be repaid. If you want to double check that you've inserted enough months, you can use the formula count a to count up how many are in the table. Start your formula anywhere on the sheet by typing equals followed by count A and select the first option which Google Sheets recommends. This will open up a bracket. You then simply select all of the months which you've added to your table, close your bracket and hit enter. The result should be the same number as if you took your assumed number of years over which the mortgage will be repaid and multiplied by 12. For example, my assumed number of years is 30 and when multiplied by 12, that gives me 360 months, which is the same number as our formula result. So I know I have enough months inserted. If it isn't the same, then simply adjust the 
the number of months in the table to correct it. For the beginning balance in the first month, you'll want to type equals and select the cell which contains your mortgage amount, in this case, 400,000 euro. We do this because in month one, we haven't made any payments yet. And so our beginning balance will equal the total amount borrowed. For the interest column, you'll want to type the following formula. Start the formula by typing equals and open up a bracket. Next, select the cell which contains the beginning balance for month one. Then type star, which again is the symbol we use for multiplying, and select the cell which contains your assumed mortgage interest rate. Once you've selected the cell which contains the interest rate, hit F4 to lock that cell because we don't want it to move once we drag our formulas down later. The cell will be locked successfully if you see two dollar symbols pop up. Finally, close the bracket and type forward slash 12 to convert the interest into monthly interest. Your formula should look like this. And if you're using the same mortgage parameters as me, your interest figure in month one should be 1,000 euro. For the monthly payment column, you simply set this to equal the monthly payment, which you calculated earlier, and lock the cell by hitting F4. Again, making sure that the two dollar symbols pop up in your formula. For the principal column, we want to set this as a formula which minuses the interest column from the monthly payment column. The reason why we do this is because we're saying that we know what the total monthly payment is because we calculated it earlier and we also know how much of the monthly payment is attributable to interest. So therefore the difference between the two must be the amount of the monthly payment which is attributable to principal. In our example we have a monthly payment of 1,686 euro and 42 cents and in month one we have an interest payment of 1,000 euro. The difference between the two is our principal payment for month one, which is 686 euro and 42 cents. Finally, the ending balance for the month is calculated by running the following formula. Start off with an equal symbol and open up a bracket. Within the bracket, you want to add together the beginning balance at the start of the month and the mortgage interest for that month. Once that's done, close your bracket. Then you want to minus your total monthly payment away from this and hit enter. This is the same thing as taking the beginning balance and just minusing out the principal payment for the month. So you can choose to run whatever formula makes the most sense to you. In this example, we have an ending balance in month one of 399,313 euro and 58 cents. The last thing we need to do before we finish is to select the cell where the beginning balance from month two will go and we need to set it as being equal to the ending balance of the previous month. Essentially, we're saying that the mortgage interest in month two will be calculated based on the ending mortgage balance in month one and so on and so forth for 30 years. So the beginning balance for month two is 399,313 euro and 58 cents, which is the ending balance from month one. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and drag our formulas down to auto populate the entire table. As you can see, over time, the proportion of monthly payment, which is going towards interest, gets smaller and smaller to the point that by the final month in December 2052, only four euro and 21 cent of the total monthly payment of 1,686 euro and 42 cents is going towards interest. Conversely, over time, the proportion of our monthly payment, which is going towards principal, gets larger and larger. By the final month in December 2052, €1,682.21 out of the total monthly payment of €1,686.42 is going towards principal. That's one of the key characteristics of mortgages clearly highlighted in our table. We'll want to check that we've set this up correctly. The easiest check we can do is to scroll down to the last last month on our table and make sure that the ending balance is zero. But we can also set up a little summary table to double check that everything is running okay and also just to have an easy way to evaluate the final numbers associated with a given set of mortgage parameters. So you'll want to have five headings here. Monthly repayment, yearly repayment, total repayments, total principal repaid and the total cost of mortgage. Your monthly repayment can be set to equal the monthly payment which you calculated at the beginning. Your yearly repayment is going to equal your monthly repayment multiplied by 12. Your total repayments are going to equal the sum of all the monthly payments which we've made over the course of 30 years. How we calculate that is by running a sum formula. Type equal sum into the cell and select the first option which Google Sheets recommends to open a bracket. Then simply select all of the monthly payments from the first month to the last month, close the bracket and hit enter. So this is how much we've paid to the bank over 30 years and it should be more than the original mortgage amount if done correctly. 
correctly. We can then double check that our total principal repayments are correct by again running a sum formula, but this time adding up all of the principal payments made over 30 years. This should equal exactly to the original mortgage amount which you entered at the beginning. The difference between the total repayments and the total principal repaid is going to be the total cost of the mortgage, aka the total interest paid. If we want to, we can double check that this is correct by running a sum formula and adding up all of the interest payments made over 30 years, and this should equal the total cost of the mortgage. So that's how you set up a simple mortgage calculator using Google Sheets. Once you have this set up, you can then simply adjust the mortgage amount, years and interest rate figures to see how much different mortgage amounts repaid over different periods of time and at different interest rates will end up costing you. But if you really want to understand how rising interest rates affect your monthly mortgage repayments, you'll need to check out this next video. It will make your experience using this mortgage calculator much more valuable. So make sure that's next up on your watch list. I'll see you soon.